Congratulations. This is hilarious. Thanks. I had Thanks. such a good time. Yeah, and it really felt as I was watching that you guys, that, well, you didn't have any fun at all. At all. <laughs> no, this is, I'm a professional and I was very serious in the workplace. Yeah, this was so silly. It's like, how, how do you not have an amazing time working on a movie like this, you know? And especially in comedy, you know, there's no vanity in comedy and, and, uh, and especially when you're talking dirty on, on beds and mm -hmm. hanging around with your I've friends. I've never made a film before that was so fun. Yeah. That was so like, a, the purpose of it is for fun and it's just like an unabashed comedy and everything I've done before has been a little darker, a little... A uh, little. Well, <laughs> quite a bit darker. Yeah. Duty Very personal. There. Like, so they're personal for me, So they're, yeah. but this one was all, it was, this one was fun. What was your, though, your initial reaction when, you know, you were shown the script by the girls and you were like, uh, 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 I loved what, it. how do I do this? I loved it. I felt like I knew immediately what to do with it. I've oh. never had that reaction where I've read a script and thought, I am the right person for this. And I had that re I had been reading scripts for five years from, from my Hollywood agent and wasn't interested in anything. And everything was very testosterone driven. And to read this yes. was so refreshing to see someone tell an inventive and grounded take on female friendship. And, you know, it's a, t it's a type of movie that you know, it, it had its heyday in the 80s, and mm -hmm. we haven't really seen these movies again since mm -hmm. until Bridesmaids came along. Yeah. And Jamie also has, like, such a an appreciation and adoration and understanding of women, and I think that that's really... I do know gets, the girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's really celebrated in this movie, you know, the sort of sense of, of, of womanhood, everything from sort of our, our, our look and, and the production design to sort of the message of, of embracing your sexuality, embracing your womanhood, embracing your friendship and um, all of those things I think Jamie really really understood and got and mm -hmm. helped to elevate in the it script was too. It great to see a girl romance yeah. like yeah. not, not a sexual romance. I mean, yeah, a yeah. Friendship, a real yeah. friendship that really goes on. Yeah. When did you know that you bonded with Lauren? You know I knew that when I got the script about eight months before we started working on it and, and they sent it to me and they Lauren and Katie wrote me this beautiful love letter sort of asking me to come on and come on as the executive producer and I knew that whoever wrote that script had to be really special and had to have an amazing you know great sense of humor and be really sensitive and and wonderful and they were and it was sort of like a, a love fest as soon as I met them and then we met Jamie and and then the four of us formed this really close unit and we spent about a month every day sitting around Lauren's dining room table working on the script and, and getting it, you know, making cuts and rewriting and getting the production going. And and so we got to really kind of get to know each other and work on our dynamic just mm -hmm. by the nature of hanging out. And so yeah. by the time we got to set, that felt really natural. And, and you know, creating this, this opportunity for, for all of us there's a bond now with the four of us that I will, will forever be unbroken. And it really did form in that month. I remember when I came down from Toronto to LA, still a little unsure. Is this movie going to happen? I don't know. But he here was I am, living at Lauren's living house. Living at Lauren's house. And we were meeting in the morning at her dining room table, and Ari and Katie would come over with coffee. And, you know, we really formed kind of one voice, I think, at that time. Yeah. yeah. What criteria do you need to be a good phone sex operator? Well, I think it's more of an emotional space. Like, I think you need to be open-minded, creative, uh, non-judgmental, be a good listener. No taboos. No taboos. Yeah. Yeah. Fast on your feet. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, a, a little scratch and a little breathiness mm -hmm. to your voice. It's funny how there's a connection it? between being a phone sex operator and being a comedian and how you have to be kind it's of quick It's actually on your very feet. similar, so yeah. It's, 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 it's a very it's natural fit for me, yeah. Ari yeah. Grainer would be good at it. Um, only when I would only when I would call Jamie late at night when I couldn't get out of character and have some phone <laughs> sex with him. Then it was like a little bit awkward, but no, you know we. The next morning. It was awkward, the next morning it was like, yeah. you know, he couldn't look me in the eye, and I was like, Jamie, I'm just really method. I don't get why you have to be so weird about it. Yeah. But, but besides that, no, it was not. It was never awkward. It actually wasn't. Now yeah. shout out to my pal Sugar, who is awesome. Sugarland oh, Beard, Sugar Chrissy Lynn the Beard. Christian. <laughs> She's amazing. I She's know. so good in this movie. She is, a, she is an undiscovered gem, and I'm so excited for people to see her for yeah. the first time. She steals. Although the Canada, show. of course, saw her on YTV yes. as the host of we Zone. Yes, this is a very. This, this is, is very this is not YTV yeah. from oh, no, my understanding of YTV. Youth oriented about this movie. You're especially not, even allowed not to come, especially kids. not Shigalan yeah. in this movie. Oh, no. yeah. She's the craziest of all of us. She's in foul mouthed. It. 
<laughs> the things that came out of her mouth, mm -hmm. that shocked me. She still amazing. makes me laugh. Well, you guys, you're just, this is great. Congratulations. Thank a you. Toronto boy. We, you did us proud. Oh, Way to go. Thanks. Bring us more. And uh, always lovely talking to you. Thank, Thank you so you. much.